Hello, everyone. So last time we went over how to get your new project, XR project up and running with a new input system. And today we're going to go over how to get moving. Uh, if you haven't checked out the last one, I'll leave a link to it. And we're going to get started. I can see in this video, you're able to teleport and move around the scene. So we'll get started. Here we are in Unity. Um, pretty much what we left off last time where you just have the XR rig and the capsule to pick up. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add some cubes to the hand so we can pretty much just know where they are. I just use those as a reference for each hand. And I'll make them smaller. And make one for the right hand. Cube. And that's just to give us a reference to where they are in the scene, because we're going to pretty much turn off the ray interactors periodically, so we just want to know where the hands are. So first thing we're going to do is go to the XR rig, we'll go to XR, and add a locomotion system action base. And say you just want to get moving, you don't want to teleport or anything, you just want your character to be able to move with the controllers, we can add a component here called Continuous Move the continuous move provider action base. And then it's also one for the turn. If you want to continuously turn, continuously turn action base. And it already, it already comes with a snap turn if you want your controller to just snap to like 45 degrees or whatever degree you want to. But um, with the continuous move, we're going to set a reference to the left hand. Okay, it's going to say move right here. And then with the continuous turn, we're going to set a reference to the right hand. And then there's going to be a right hand turn. And now if we go play in our headset. You can see I can move, I'm using my left hand controller to walk around. I use this one to turn in a circle. And that's how you can quickly get up and just walk around your world and see everything. All right. Don't come out of play. Let's say you want to be able to teleport. So let me um, turn the ease off for now. And if you want to teleport, you see we have this plane, which is essentially our ground. We're going to add a teleport area to that. And then it needs a, uh, it has a reference to the interaction manager. It needs a teleportation provider, which is our locomotion system. You can drag that in there. It has a custom medical, which is uh, something you can make easily. So we can come over here, say create a 3D object and create a cylinder. And this can be our vertical. And we're gonna shrink it down in the Y. Let's first zero out the position of it. Say 0.1 in the Y. You're gonna make sure you take off this capsule collider because it will give you problems if you don't. Um, I have a blue material here, so I'm just call it a, give this that blue material here and make it a little transparent as you can see. Then I'll make that a prefab. Let's go back to my XR rig with my plane where I had that teleportation area and I can put my reticle in there. I can delete it from here. And then now when I go into the VR, when is it playing here? You can see I have I can teleport with both hands set right now. And I'm pressing the grip button to be able to teleport. Oh, almost off the map. So yeah, so now I can teleport with both controllers. But say you want to um, have your teleport activated at a button press and you don't want the controller to be able to see the reticle the whole time. So we want to set that up now. 
So for the left hand, I'm going to set up for the left hand. I'm going to turn off the X-ray interactor. And we're going to add a component here. I'm going to add a ray interactor. And uh, we'll call it our teleport ray. And we're going to have these ref um, put these references in manually. And I'm going to be referencing the left hand. So it says position action. So we just go to left hand position. Rotation action. Left hand rotation. Select action. Left hand select. And names are pretty much going to match these names with the reference. Um, this active, left hand active, UI, left hand UI, um, haptic feedback, anchor, anchor, with a rotation, rotate anchor, and translate. And now this um, teleport ray is referencing the left hand. We're going to um, look at our default um, default input actions. And here you should see um, to generate the class as a file, um, you might see it like this. But to get that activated, just click here and hit apply to generate this as a class and that's going to come in handy when we write our code. Um, if you look at the input actions, you can see that our teleport mode active is being controlled by the primary button and on the Oculus, the primary button is the X button on the left controller and the teleport mode cancel is controlled by the grip button and that grip button is what's going to control our teleport. So when we let go of it, it's going to teleport us. So now we'll go to the script I also want to, uh, okay. Yeah, so we'll go to the script now. Mm -mm -mm. And you create a script called teleport. And let it load up. <laughs> All right, so this is my teleport script. And pretty much um, it's referencing the new input system. So at the top, we want to have a public game object, the teleport ray, which is the ray we just created. We're going to have a public Boolean or a private Boolean called activation threshold. And um, essentially when that Boolean is set to true, it's going to show the ray active. And when it's set to false, it's going to um, show the ray um, deactivated. So here, XR default input actions is a reference to the input um, that um, class we just created. And in the private awake, we're going to be referencing the left hand. And as you saw in that default input map, the teleport mode active is the name of the button or the map, but the binding name for that button. And um, you can see that the left hand teleport mode active is set to perform and perform essentially just mean the button is pressed and when the button it well, pressed and hold, held and when the button is pressed and held the activation threshold is set to true and then when it's um, canceled the we reference the left hand again the teleport mode active cancel um, it said it's it sets it to a false and then down in the awake function well, an update function we have if the activation threshold is true, then it shows our teleport ray. If it's set to false, then it um, turns it off. All right. And this is just to enable and, and disable our left hand when we press the button down here. And uh, if you need to pause it to look at the script, go ahead and do that so you can write it out. And then we'll go back to the editor. And then on that XR rig, we're going to add that script. And then our teleport ray is going to go in here. And then we can go ahead and deactivate the ray. So now we're going to VR. I'm going to go up here. 
play with my mouse there is. You can see I turned off the left hand ray. If I hit the activation button, you can see it activates my teleport. And I still have it to press the grip to activate the teleport. So I pretty much have the activate and cancel button. So if I decide I don't want to teleport over there no more, just let go of the button. All right. And then for that ray as well, if you want it to be a curved um, ray, just go down to the XR ray interactor. And where it says line type, you can go to a Belzier curve. And that would make it that curve um, ray that you see in a lot of VR games. Um, but let's say you still want to use your left hand to pick up things and um, to see things. So to customize the rays, um, let's go back to the left hand. I'm going to turn this ray interactor back on. So to um, change that, to be able to still use your left hand but not have it show up as a teleport like you saw with the right hand, um, we're going to first we're going to change our plane. We're going to give it a tag. Um, we're going to give it a layer. Sorry, we're going to give it a layer. So I created a layer called ground, and then we're going to make the plane a ground. I'm pretty much going to turn the physics off between the two. So I go to plane, and set it to ground, and then I go back to my left hand controller. And you see, I have this XR ray interactor on where it says um, ray cast mass. It says everything, so it's going to interact with everything. But if we turn off the ground, it won't interact with the ground anymore. And then another thing, if we, um, so yeah, let's just hop into VR first and I'll show you that. Um, so now you still see my ray, but like um, when I look at the ground, it's still red because the red is the invalid selection for it, and I can't um, do anything. So my right hand is still turning white because it's still set to detect the ground, but my left hand is not, and I still can pick that up and everything. So let's say you don't want to see this, these rays unless you are selecting something that's active. So if we want to turn off the rays when they're invalid, we go back to that, um, still on the left-hand controller. I want to scroll down to the XR Interactor Line Visual. And you can see the invalid color gradient is set to red. So whenever it's looking at something that it can't interact with, it's going to be red. So if I come up here, come in here, and I click on this top, Right here, this is the alpha value, which is essentially the transparency of it. So I'm going to turn that down to zero. And then I'm going to turn this side down to zero. And then for the valid gradient, you can have some fun with that if you want to change the color. So the beginning, well, the left um, little tick mark is the beginning color. So I can turn that to like a orange color and the end color to like a blue color. just to give it a little style. And then now if I come into play, play. See this one see, okay, I don't have a Blu-ray, but as soon as I Look at the capsule with my left hand is there. And you can see I have the custom colors into it as well. And then I still have my teleport here with the X button, the primary button. And I can teleport with the grip button on both controllers. And um, when I look at that, I can still pick it up with the grip button, throw it, pick it back up, um, hit X, grip button, teleport, teleport. And yeah, let's move on.
So that's um, pretty much all I have for today. That's how you can add a locomotion system, get up and moving in VR. Um, essentially, well, I want to say not a no code um, um, solution, but if you just wanted to get up and get moving, turn off those rays, that's a no code solution. But if you want to have a custom button to teleport, just a simple script to get you teleporting. So um, let me know if you like this video. Uh, check out the other one if you haven't already and let me know if you um what else kind of tutorials you want to see in VR. And I'll talk to you guys next time.